Good afternoon and welcome to your favorite weekly current affairs program, 60 Minutes Nigeria. Today's program promises to be exciting as usual. We will be keeping you updated with all that is happening in the country, especially what transpired yesterday. We're talking about the uh, presidential election petition tribunal or court. Uh, ruled on the petitions fighting by the Labour Party, presidential candidate Peter Obi, the PDP presidential candidate, Araji Atiku Abubakar, and others. And I must tell you that despite 12 hours of marathon delivery of judgments, Nigerians were glued to their TV sets. Nigerians were Welcome. fixed to their TV sets, monitoring bit by bit as the judgments unfolded. The delivery of the judgment was very important to not only politicians, but to all Nigerians. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be talking about what transpired yesterday in Abuja. It was a great one. So, welcome to this week's edition of 60 Minutes Nigeria. My name is Egosa Agbonlaho. I have with me very, very respected guests who will be dissecting the topic that we have today. I have Apostle Casey Chuku. He is a social media influencer as well, apart from being a clergyman, and is also an analyst of repute. Nice to have you, Apostle Casey Chuku. Good afternoon, viewers. Welcome to today's edition. Okay. We also have with us a popular face, a legal luminary, Professor Joe Odio. Nice to have you with us today. Good afternoon, Egosa. Okay. Good afternoon, our viewers. Okay. Joining us is an ambassador of peace with the United Nations. He is also a man that understands the political terrain because he was once a governorship candidate in Edo State. Amos Arelogbe. Nice to have you with us today. It's my pleasure being here. Good okay. afternoon. <laughs> well, it promises to be exciting, educative, enlightening, I must tell you. We are looking at what transpired yesterday. We are also looking at the impact on the development of this wonderful country. But before we do that, let me just give you excerpts or refresh your memory on what happened in terms of the presidential election petitions tribunal yesterday. A court strikes out Labour Party's petition against the victory of President Bola Tinubu and Vice President Kashim Shetima in the 2023 presidential election for lack of merit. A court rejects 10 out of Peter B's 13 witnesses presented by Labour Party's candidate, Peter Obi. On Peter Obi's membership of Labour Party, the court ruled in his favor. A P court strikes out APM suit against the victory of President Tinubu and Vice President Kashim in the 2023 presidential election. Justice Haruna held that member of a political party not allowed by law to challenge the nomination of candidate of another party and candidates that the petitioner lacks the local standard to institute the petition. Justice Haruna also held that invalid nom nomination or double nomination did not qualify as a ground 
for disqualification in respect of presidential elections as provided in Section 131 and 137 of the Constitution. The court held that in 176,866 polling units in 774 local government areas, it would be improper for the petitioner not to specify which polling units there were irregularities. Meanwhile, there were also other rulings. The Labour Party has rejected the tribunal's judgment, says it is not a reflection of the people's desire. The PDP has also rejected this judgment. The PDP has vowed to challenge this judgment in the Supreme Court. The Labour Party has also vowed to challenge this judgment in the Supreme Court. So this is the scenario that played out yesterday. I will just allow a professor of law in our midst, because he knows it better, to quickly just give us his opening remarks on what transpired. OK. Thank you, Agosa. And yes. once more, good afternoon to everybody. Uh, well, yesterday has come, and I think it has gone, as expected. Uh, the, uh, the tension, the you know, agitation and hype that uh, preceded that uh, judgment yesterday, I think, has uh, simmered down, except for the post-judgment uh, uh, analysis and effect, like we are doing here. Uh, those who are not satisfied, of course, will go to the Supreme Court as they have expressed their intention to do that. It's a constitutional right. Of course, that is why the strata, the strata of courts is so you know, organized that you have the Supreme Court as the APS court, the last uh, point of call for any litigant or anybody who feels uh, he has a legal right uh, to pursue. So we welcome that uh, decision to go to the APS court. We didn't even believe that there should be so much uh, heat or uh, you know, tension before this journal was delivered because it's just an intermediate court, the process, the, 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 the final court of arbitrage, the Supreme Court. So any tension, any furore, as you call it, would have been much, much uh, welcome if it was the APEX court. But whoever loses here has a second chance to at least uh, ventilate his grievance at the APEX court. Uh, but uh, in, the, in, the, in the summary, the judgment for 12 hours for me is a testimony of uh, the assiduousness and the dexterity of the judicial arm of government. Uh, of course, it's an area where I belong to, so I can always beat my chance and say we have done the uh, nation proud yesterday. For, and the 12 hour reading judgment, <laughs> and five uh, noble uh, lords trying to extrapolate and tell you what the law ought to be with respect to electoral uh, practice and jurisprudence. For some of us who are involved, uh, we know that uh, the fine lines of their decision were not unexpected. We've always known that uh, uh, these issues have to be resolved one way or the other, especially knowing our legal uh, uh, practice as it affects petitioners. Uh, we said it here repeatedly that uh, the Electoral Act, the Electoral Judgment is skewed, you know, it's skewed so much uh, in favor of the respondents. It is. A petitioner has an arduous task to, to, to surmount, a serious task, and it is worse when it's a presidential election because you have so many polling units, you have so many, uh, you know, resources to contend with. President Buhari of Imidia Pass tried it four times. He never succeeded. Uh, it is not because uh, we have this belief that the judiciary will not do their job. It's because the law, as it is, does not uh, encourage you know, election petitions. Petitions have serious job to do. And it's, it's not something you do, like the judge said, on media hype, emotional sentiment, or law. Law is not logic. It's not, you don't phantom law. You don't use uh, logic to, to justify law. But when you look at law from that angle, you think it's just about simplistic. Ah, they say and do, I say and do, and it's not, it's not that that's true. They are, they, are, they, are, they are procedure uh, with the judges uh, rightly uh, put on ground. There's nothing new has happened. For those of us who have been involved in this for quite a while, nothing new has happened. But we're happy that the litigants, the disputants, chose to go to court, didn't take the law into their hand, they sort of called self-help. And that is the, what we commend everybody for. Uh, so you, you have a right to go to the APS court and try whether you can, they can have the other side. Uh, it's possible that there are some issues that may not be agreeable to the APS court. So we wait and see. Thank you very much. Uh, that's uh, Professor Joe Bodion uh, giving us his uh, opening remarks. 
uh, regarding the ruling of the uh, presidential election uh, petitions uh, tribunal. Uh, so many Nigerians actually waited for that ruling. But he has just uh, made it very, very clear that there was no need for anticipation the way it was, because it's not the APS court, it's not the Supreme Court. It's only the Supreme Court that gives a judgment and you cannot appeal. Well, Apostle Casey Chuku, uh, you are a man that is also, apart from being a clergyman, you are also a social media influencer. Uh, now, do you think it was right for the Labour Party, the PDP, to just react by saying they are going to the Supreme Court without uh, probably just letting the judgment go like that? What's your take on that? Anyway, um, with what has happened yesterday, it was a punch to democracy. I could have uh, even asked them to relax and forget it because it is crystal clear that what happened in tribunal will happen in Supreme Court. You see, at the time we thought we are getting Nigeria right, we just saw that we are starting all over again. The judgment yesterday, I can tell you that it was not clear. And uh, if I would beg that everything that has happened yesterday should be implemented into Nigeria constitutional law so that when anybody finds himself in such situation, you can quote the judicial, uh, the tribunal what they did yesterday. Let's take a, st a, a case study of Ikuremado. If you are saying that uh, uh, for someone to pick up two tickets, it was not intentional, that simply means I can come to your house and steal and go to court and say uh, it was not intentional to steal. I can kiss someone and come and say, ah, it was not intentional to kiss somebody. So if the, the law, which is the hope for the common man, can pass such a judgment. I wonder if there is still hope in this country called Nigeria. Look at how the, the way they messed everything up yesterday. Okay, I will, I will not allow you to use the word mess. Yes. Okay. No, you know it's judgment. That's yes. why we have a, a legal pressure in our midst. And he has just said it that what happened yesterday is just a step. It's not over. No, no. They can seek redress uh, the truth, in the Supreme is, Court. The truth is that those people are too learned to make such mistakes. You can say, no, to you, you are seeing it as a you, mistake. How will you say that? I'm seeing it as a mistake. It's not yeah. a mistake. How will a yes. judge say that uh, uh, Abuja is like other states? So how many states do we have in Nigeria? You are confusing students. How will you say Abuja is like every other state? So if, if you if you can't get can the value of other states, or why what is the negative value in Abuja? So that means we should add Abuja to the 36 states. So Nigeria have a 37 states. So let's put it like that. Since they want to confuse us, let's go on with the law. Thank you, Apostle Casey Chuku. I, I must state in this program that definitely we are going to have um, emotional reactions. Uh, but the most important thing, which has been stated by Professor Joe Bojo, is that it is the Supreme Court that is the final arbiter. It is what the Supreme Court says that is the final. So, if everybody feels not uh, comfortable, not satisfied with the ruling of the Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal, they are very free to approach the Supreme Court. And you never can tell. That is why the logo, you see the blind, uh, you see the blind woman they call her? Yeah, the blind lady of justice. Sir. The lady of justice. She's blind. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know whether it's a Hosak She doesn't know whether it's a Professor Job. She doesn't know whether it's a Professor Kesi Chuku. She doesn't know whether it's a Ambassador Amos. Our, our, our Nigeria oh, is seen. It's not blind. <laughs> he seems very well. I disagree with you. <laughs> because I disagree with you. You are saying you disagree with yes. me. Yes. Look at the case study of Ekurimadu. Yes. He's not even aware that uh, 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 human trafficking, uh, uh, organ trafficking is a uh, 
is a, a, against the law. But he went there according to the law. They say ignorant is not an excuse. Not excuse. When you are ignorant to the law, it's not an excuse. But look at our judiciary telling us that if you are ignorant, it's an excuse. No, so you, it was clear. you don't understand the technicality <laughs> of the law. Anyway, let's get the opening remarks of Amos Arenugbe. Now, you. I want to look at it from this angle. The, ju the judgment has been passed, yeah. but it's not final. Because the those involved, the Labour Party presidential candidate, the PDP presidential candidate, they have made it expressly clear that they will approach the Supreme Court to seek redress. It is within their rights to do that. Do you think it's necessary to go to the Supreme Court or they should have just accepted the judgment like that? I want you to take your argument from that. Angle. Okay, thank you very much. You see, in my local dialect, there's this parable that says you cannot beat a child and ask the child not to cry. You cannot take what belongs to a child and the child is crying, give me, give me, give me. I say, keep quiet, don't cry. Let me start with that. You see, what is happening or what has happened or what transpired yesterday, sorry if I may use this harsh tone, is a slap on democracy. Mm. In your own opinion. In my own opinion. Let me let me because let me now my own. to other people is not yes, yes yes because what might seem wrong to me might not be seen wrong to another person but to me i feel is a slap on democracy and it's like you are making the people feel there's no hope in the uh, in, in in election there's no hope in the judiciary permit me to that word it's like each time they, they come out and say, go to court, go to court, knowing fully well, they know who are there. If, for example, now, I'm telling you I'm doing the wrong thing, and I keep telling you, take me to court, let's go to court, because I know what I'm backing on. When you are going, yes, I know what I'm doing, I'm going to court. Because I can remember in, in the law class I attended during my school, they said, you might have the facts of a case, but you might lose it on the, ca the case on the technical ground. I think my prof is here can also uh, stress on that. But one thing we are saying, a layman which we all belong to, we are seeing it glaring. This is what is happening, and you are telling me it's not happening. Where do you think... You want to tell the next generation that this is what we've been doing. It's hard time we come at playing that, oh, this, we are not operating democracy anymore. We are not doing it the way it ought to be done. We are doing it in our own standard, in our own way. Then we begin to say, okay, now so will they do. Let me tell you, since yesterday to now, I've been having calls and meetings from people. They're telling me they've lost hope on democracy. They've, hope, they've lost hope on elections. Some of them are saying that next step, there's no need for us to go out and vote. Because since our vote does not count, there's no need for us to go out that. A, 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 a typical example, you could see the last election, local government election that transpired. I went around as a monitor. I went around. You will tell me there are some places that election did not take place at all. But there was results. People will tell you, ah, go and vote. I was even encouraging you, go and vote, go and vote. See, there's no line. They say, say ah, oh God, they don't already write the results. I know they go. Which is not true. Which is not true. Yeah. And again, so I will tell you, if I go, they go beat me. If I go, they go harass me. I said, nobody's harassing you because we've made to understand with Nigeria, now even in those states, let me say those as a, as a case study now, we've come to that standard or that age or that step that, yes, if I go out and vote, my vote will count. Go on. You understand me? Yes. So that is what we are, we are, we are talking. In Nigeria, in Nigeria, for, for, as of today, I will tell you, majority of the people, majority of the people will tell you we've lost hope on the judiciary. Because they will tell you one thing. I was, I was, when I was listening to the case, there was a case that the judge was saying, like say, the person that said he was from uh, Amazon, uh, uh, what do you call it, that is also a card carrier member, of the so-called respondent and all and all and all, saying he's a, he contested once for that reason, his uh, uh, judgments are man. What are we talking about? 
People will begin to laugh at when they were reading all the, all, all the struck out cases of calling the Labour Party. People will laugh and say, ah, they've lost the case. They've lost the case. Somebody wasn't saying, not in Nigeria anymore, that if we go, if we go to uh, Supreme Court, it's the same thing that will still play out. No, but I don't want you to give up. That's, that's the point. We are only praying that it's only God. It's only God that will come and help this nation, Nigeria. Okay, it's only thank, God. thank you, Ambassador Amos. Let's thank get you. a thought of uh, Professor Job before we take a break shortly. Now, you, you've, you've heard our guest. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yes, they've expressed their opinions. Yes. And so many Nigerians have expressed their opinions. Now, that judgment yesterday definitely generated mixed reactions. Of course, naturally. Okay. Now, if you see, these are the different, uh, like I read earlier, the different uh, petitions that were struck out. Okay, and the, okay. Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the Apicot strikes out the Labour Party's petition against the victory of uh, President Bola Tinubu and Vice President Kashim Shetima. Now, you see the other areas. Now, this yeah. will enable you to appreciate the job of the judges yesterday. But before we take a break, uh, Professor Joe, oh. just a quick one. Okay. Now, is it not on technical grounds that the judgment, you know, that judgment was passed? <laughs> definitely not, definitely not. I think, uh, you see, you see, it's just learning our scholarship is something that we all have to be honed on. Okay. Like me, an engineer, engineer, what he did, I don't know about structural work, so. Because law is so dynamic, everybody can just uh, comment on it. So I, I don't think uh, it will be right to start you know, chastising what the judges have done in okay. a forum like this. I think okay. we should look more at the impact of the judgment okay. and look at the post-judgment issues that could rightly caption your discussion. But going yeah. back to this, it's something that there, the, the, the way it is structured, you have a couple preliminary issues okay. which were raised by the various parties. They have the main issue on merit. So the court took the issues that are preliminary that appear to be technical in the general view and then the substantive issue. It's one of the primary issues that the court ruled that you cannot okay. challenge uh, okay. Peter Obis. Uh, we will come back to you, but you need to explain uh, that. Uh, uh, we'll just take a brief break now, and then after my guest will comment more on how this country can actually uh, be catapulted to higher pedestal. The petitioners, they are not satisfied with the ruling of the presidential election petitions tribunal yesterday. So they have decided to go to the Supreme Court, and they have the right to do that. And you never can predetermine the ruling of the Supreme Court. Prof, you were just explaining. Okay, yeah, yes. Yes. Uh, 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 the the, the, the issue, what we call technicality is actually... Uh, it's something that is a bit difficult to explain, but okay. we have the procedure, rules of procedure. You know, uh, like because it appears every engagement what, what happened yesterday is yeah. not what so many Nigerians were expecting. Uh, well, I wouldn't know about that. Like that. I, would, I wouldn't know about that. It's not uh, the judgment of a popularity contest. Now. The election okay. was in February, not yesterday. Okay. So you don't have a question of popularity. You know how, how you feel. It's what the judges uh, uh, decide based on the evidence before them. That is what uh, I and, want and you to mention. Very clear. So it was based on the evidence yes, but, before yeah, them. They made very clear. There's not... You, Litigation generally, even on that land matter, even, <laughs> even matrimonial causes, husband and wife, it's not based on rumor mongering, it's not based on uh, social media, it's, not based, on, it's based on hard facts. And of course, because I, I I'm involved, I don't go to judgment in the tribunal of that crime, so I'm okay. aware. So, so we know these things because we are involved. Like I said, if only people will just be patient, what really matters is the electoral law itself. The electoral law itself, the way it is drafted, the way it is, you know, uh, Structured is so much in favor of a response. Who is a man who wins election? That is why it's two and three or two and seven. About to say, operation is this election is do and die. People have been doing these things over the years. But like I can agree with the my panelists. We thought the electronic model, you know, the electronic model will, will change the narrative and make petitioners have a, an easier platform to prove irregularities and malpractice. That was why. We are trying to say, let us go digital. You get, that is why we had the electoral act of 2022. But what you, don't, what you don't know is that, like it has been happening over the last 30 years, because I was a member of the Electoral Reform Commission under ways in the two states, that's our eight. We have made it clear, like I, most colleagues, most lawyers understand what I'm saying, that the, what we call the burden of proof should not be placed on the petitioner anymore. Let INEC come and prove and justify their results. After you announce this now as a winner, 
You announce Jacob as the winner. Come and tell us how and why he's the winner. That is what we call burden of proof. Let it shift. Don't tell me as a petitioner, man who has lost election, who did not conduct election, who, is, who doesn't have access to your materials. Even when it was ordinary from ECAT documents, not even vivas. Don't tell me to come and prove. How am I going to get the witnesses? We have 180 days. So let Anne come and justify their election. That was the way, 2008, 15 years ago. If we can get that in our electoral system, the law is now balanced. The amount who loses election will just allow you to do your nonsense, throw your mischief on the field. Because you know that you are the one that is coming to answer your name. Come and prove how somebody scored 1,000 votes in the polling unit where you have only 500 registered voters. Come, so. Come and tell me how a conspiracy that has six, uh, 15, uh, uh, let's say, words, how you now have a result that is more than 15 words. It's not for me to prove. That will all play that. Not just a, since 2003, when we have, it's 1999, when Father took over the court, that has been there. So even the lawyers, we all know these things. But we we'll go to court because we always feel that the court will have the other side of the divide. Maybe I can convince the court of the right. Like, let's go to the issue of yesterday's judgment. As of 2015, when NF was trying to come out with this electronic model, we had a smart card now. That smart card was used. They spent a lot of money, billions. Yes, Supreme Court said that smart card was unknown to law. It's unknown to law. There were people like, you can we say, escaped because he lost at both tribunal and the court of appeal. That's how the governor, because they all escaped. I use the escape because it's a technical grounds. We call it procedural issue. Until they now have to amend the act in 2022, now say Beavers is mandatory. Now we came out with this as a smart card. Now this Beavers is a new concept. But our lawmakers are also our problem. And you know why? Because right from the period of uh, the 1999, when we are elected into office as lawmakers, we try to cheat come out with laws that will protect our city, mm -hmm. that will, protect, that will prevent, make it difficult for people to remove us from office if we contest election and we are not returned. Because we're not doing well. We're not doing well as elected officials, lawmakers, executives. We're not doing well. We know the popularity is poor. So if we go to the field, we'll be defeated. Okay. But we want to force our way on the electorate. So we are going to do anything to win election. But we know they'll go to court. So we ensure that the law is put in the way that even when they go to court, they cannot prove that we rigged the election. Okay. Let me use the word rigged. Okay. So you don't have to blame the judges who are doing their job, looking at the law on white paper. Because you are not schooled on the law and the process. Okay. You are becoming okay. emotional. You just are facing the judges. Okay. Well, the Thank, you. From the Thank, you, uh, uh, Thank you very uh, much. Uh, I was okay, see. Now, let's look at it from this angle. How can we improve the electoral system in Nigeria. So that we'll not get to a case where people say, if you know you are not satisfied, go to court. You know, it has become like a cliche in a uh, local palace. And <laughs> they say, any little TV family misunderstanding, they say you can go to court. You know, that's derogatory. The court is supposed to be the, the hope of the, the hope of the masses, as they say, yeah. and they are doing it. They are the court is actually the hope of the masses. If you are not satisfied in one court, go to the AP. If you are not satisfied in the AP, go to the Supreme. You get judgment. But how do we improve election in this country? I want us to take it from that angle as a way of developing Nigeria. Okay, thank you. Uh, I, will, I will answer that question. Shortly. Okay. For example, if this is an agreement between both of us. Yes. And um, you sign and I sign. Okay. Go and document. Me and we hold this one. Yes. And later, what I have here is different from what is in the system. And this is your signature. Mm. And somebody is telling you that you don't have enough proof. So that, that simply means anybody can deny his signature at any point of time. So the judiciary, I will help them out on what to do. Last time I was here, I said something. I said, we have BVM. You have your BVM number. Okay. Which, if you have 20 accounts, is one BVM number. Yeah. They can use the BVM to create a card for us. Your BVM number is your voter's card. Then, just the way on your phone, you transfer and 
it reflects on someone's account, we can cast our vote online. While we are casting it, we'll be seeing it reading. Look at this uh, a bank, a new bank that just came in now. Instantly, you are transferred. They are seeing the money. It's not like the old one that maybe you transfer, maybe from one bank to the other. It will take like five, three minutes before it reflects. But these new ones are coming instantly. We have seen uh, America do it. That you can vote like this, it will be showing. That will not be easy for anybody to hijack it. So if the judiciary, the Nigerian government, will allow us to be using our BVM number for the vote, I will assure you that it will bring progress to Nigeria and everybody can help man and say, yes, my vote will count. I'm voting, I'm seeing it right on script. So if it gets to 15, stop counting. Maybe you 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 do your you cast your vote, it didn't read. You now know maybe there's network problem or one thing or the other. But with the way they are doing it, Erosa, I can assure you that in the next election, I'm not sure that people that will vote in Nigeria will be up to 50. <laughs> to be as bad as that. Yes, in your own thinking. Yes, because of yes. what we just saw now. What we just saw now. They are telling us that we are all useless. No, they are because not. Because why am I saying this is that we they even brought a video of what play. I told you just now that they say the judiciary, normally they are blindfolded, they don't see anything except the one you come and present to them. That's what they see. Our own they are seeing very well. <laughs> they know what is happening. <laughs> now we presented a video to you of the my practice that happened during election, and you said. It's not enough evidence, and you are in this same country, Nigeria. Okay. You saw this thing, you have brothers, you have sisters, even the people you are defending, they knew very well okay. that this thing will be real. Okay. So they are making us to suspect them. Okay. We already believe that they have had their case. Okay. There's no problem. I was okay, see. <laughs> Thank you. I, I did mention that, yes, our guests will be emotional, but we must not uh, misunderstand uh, their comments. Yes, the ruling is bound to generate misreactions. But every yes, happy, this is not a misreaction. No, I'm coming. Someone came to steal in my house. No. And he caused a big evidence. And I brought CCTV camera footage. Yes. You are telling me now that this is not enough evidence that this person came to steal. Okay, I was that simply means it was a spirit. I was okay, that thank you. You've made your point. And uh, the viewer they are watching, what we are saying is, yes, the ruling must generate misreactions. You know, what uh, the lawyer in Amis has told us, he said it is the evidence before the judges that counts. Is, you, you can come to the court and say, I saw this and I saw that. That's your opinion. You must convince the judges beyond all reasonable doubt. Am I correct? Uh, yeah, you are, you are, yeah, you are, beyond you are, all reasonable are, doubt. Are, are, so it's not, it's not just your emotion. It's not just the way you feel. So in that primary school, found people voted. That's you. You are the one saying it. But you need to come and convince the judge that, yes, there are evidences to actually buttress that 500 persons voted in that polling unit. You must understand the way the courts operate. But if you are not satisfied with the ruling of a particular court, don't give up. Go and seek redress. And I commend uh, Alaji Abubakar uh, Atiku, who has said he will go to the Supreme Court. I also commend Peter Obi. Peter Obi has said he will go to court. He will go to the Supreme Court. He has not given up. So Nigerians must learn from these two gladiators. Uh, Amos, yeah. I don't know, but you, you used to join monitoring yeah, of course, uh, yeah. yes. observers. Observer, of course. Yes. Now, how do we improve our electoral system? Because if our electoral system is well done, everybody will are satisfied. Nobody will go to court. Yes. We just take it like that. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes. See, I, wanted, I wanted to interrupt you when you were speaking. Okay. I just said, well, let me just wait until you finish. You see, the lawyer in our midst, made us to understand it is an evidence you present to the judge based on that evidence. That's what the judge will now read. Yes. Now, let's look at this from the other angle. What about if the judge decided or
to choose what he wants to hear. Don't you think it also influence the results? Now, we are bringing evidence which everybody is seeing. And he's telling you this, this evidence is not substantial enough. You are making the other person feel that uh, all my efforts is being wasted. So, just like as what Casey said, if we are transparent in what we are doing, even a blind man will be able to see. Just like when you say the lady George, the, 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 what they call it, mm. that this, she's blind. This time, mm. she's not seen even when she, her face is being tied up. No, I disagree with you. No, wait. <laughs> because, let me tell you something. <laughs> when you are seeing black, or when you are seeing green, when you are seeing another color. you are talking from my own your own, uh, uh, yes. your comments. You see what I mean? I you see what I mean? I said, the judge chooses what to pick. They choose what to take. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get me now? Yeah, yeah. You might bring an evidence to the judge. Say, this is my evidence. You say, no, 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 I don't want I, this I'm one. I'm not seeing it. Uh, I'm not even seeing it. You get me now? So, such uh, reaction. Okay, Ambassador. Yes. Now, each of the petitioners had yes. legal representation. Yes. He told you now, Professor Jose is just coming from court. Yeah. <laughs> it is the duty of your legal uh, representation, yeah. or representatives rather. To do justice to the job. Now, do you Your think, counsel. Do you think the counsel. do justice do to you the think job. the counsels that uh, the APC, uh, the, the PDP, and the Labour Party are they children? <laughs> this is a limited <laughs> luminary. This is Hassan. They must have done their, before going to the court, they must have had their yes. own, prepared their own case. Because more fully, where they are going or what they want to do is not a child's play. So that is why they must have every file say, ah, this one is this. If it was a baby lawyer that just graduated, they would have been saying they don't know what they are doing. Okay, okay, sorry. They are not baby lawyers. Sorry, so, sorry. Young, what, what yeah, young, young lawyers. Uh, young lawyers yeah. that have not had experience. You can be saying these ones are not experienced. Yeah, yeah, but so. these are people who have been in court before. See, they have and they've won cases before. Yeah. They know what it takes to prove their cases. So why can you tell me now what they are bringing okay. on the court? Em it's not substantial. Okay, Amos, Alan, look me. You just asked that the vow moves to <laughs> Professor <laughs> Joe Mondial. Now, I know you used to watch WWF. Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, even the champion. Because yeah. he win all the, all the wrestling matches. <laughs> And they are looking can we today. So what they will lose? They are used to it. Uh, Some of those uh, yeah. lawyers, very eminent lawyers, today they will, they will defend this political party. <laughs> Tomorrow they will defend the party they 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 they, they uh, stood against. <laughs> or, you know, it's like that is their job, uh, Prof. <laughs> now, me, that, how do we develop our electoral system? Okay, no, no, I've actually mentioned one. Yes. Uh, I think that is. I think yeah, you talked was, about the, yes, uh, the uh, uh, issue uh, of the yes, no, electoral uh, act. Yes, I, I have asked. Which other so, areas? Uh, let me mm. just retreat that the electoral act that the Waste uh, Committee recommended 2008. Uh, we've not gotten to that stage yet. The stage we need now, like I said, is for the act to lower the standard, you know. The standard and the, what we call the of proof, yes. So that the petitioner will have it easier to prove. So that our friend, my friends here, will not get worked up over a video, video because there are rules of procedure, rules of engagement. There's so called admissibility. You don't go and record and bring. You are a journalist, you know this thing. So there are things that the court will not accept from you. So it's not whether you just recorded or you have video. No, it's not like that. They are, you have the evidence act. My students in the evidence law will know that. So the law should be brought to a level where at least we can prove our case eh, without all these technicalities in courts, which actually is procedural issue. Two, and it's most unfortunate, that is the area I believe we will, a lot of people should comment, comment on this, the impact of this judgment on our drive towards electronic voting. You see, the, 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 the best thing, like you said, like I'm to us is when we go full digital, electronic voting. How can voting. we do that? And that was how, why the, 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 the uh, INEC through their regulation, local regulations now, came out with this beavers and electronic transmission. You get the point? Yes. So this will be a gradual step towards pure or full electronic voting. Because mm. of our peculiarities, our challenges in this country, communication and then, so, so let us just have a stop gap. Once you collate in your polling unit, you transmit to a center IREV, you know, and then you record in your beavers. Now the beavers have been accepted. 
to the extent that you use it to for accreditation, you to record uh, voters and everything. I said, what the court? Let us get this clear. What the court yesterday did not accept, which they did accept even in Oshun State Supreme Court. That's why they made nothing different in the Supreme Court. That the transmission, that was it. It's not mandatory. It is not mandatory. And next, he has a discretion. As, as a staff, as, as a journalist, you have discretion. Every person that has power has what called discretion. But what you should be abuse? INEC was supposed to have transmitted. It was the best option for them. But they had a discretion. So they could phantom any excuse not to transmit. But you cannot compel them. I say, I don't think, in labor law, you cannot, I cannot compel my employer to promote me. I don't know if ITV is different. You cannot compel your employer to promote you. It's there in labor law. So INEC cannot be compared to transmit results, which was what the court said. But if you want to compare INEC to transmit, you want to compare them. So we can have full electronic voting and amend the act again. Hmm. Let us tell our people in the National Assembly who are trying to protect themselves, think less of yourself. Think less about your office. Because you know you're not doing well. Go and do well. Allow us to amend that to make it, it, is not be, it, it shall be compulsory. It is hereby made compulsory for INEC to transmit results to center Arab. Then also, if it's there in the law, then all this argument will not be there. But it's not there yet. It's not there. So all those arguments about you didn't transmit, you transmit were just, you know, playing to the gallery because the law is not there. Uh, 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 the chairman, Mabu's uh, press conference, even his regulation letter cannot replace the law. Are you with me? The law is made by National Assembly. So the people to be heard is, let us have full-scale electronic voting. That's number two. Number three, we have said it, reduce the perquisite of office both at the National Assembly level to the school level. Let our elected officers not be gaining so much in terms of allowances. But when the stakes are high, it's going to be do or die. Okay. Somebody just becomes a councillor today. He's already uh, <coughs> thinking, of, yeah. thinking of how to build houses and when he's made, I see uh, uh, level 10 or level 8 officers. Somebody who left school in 2000, 2000, 2000 I produced more than 10, I've done 10 years of lecture. He's already thinking of how to become a governor of the state. Hmm. Because he knows that when you become a governor, he can own the whole world. <laughs> so if becoming a governor means you are tied to your salary, it's a service-oriented office. It's not meant for you to acquire a mass wealth. If we, then some of us will not bother going there. The, the desperation, eh, Nigeria, the will not be there. It's a desperation for office because of the benefit. That's why people doing a lot of things. They will do a lot of things, go to court and all that. And they even try to influence judiciary. We're not going to say okay. it's not possible, Th but thank let you. us always know that. Let us look at the root of the problem. Eh? What are the, are the symptoms? Thank you, uh, Prof. Apostle Casey, I know you are very emotional today, but <laughs> you must uh, put your sentiments <laughs> uh, aside to help Nigerians. Now, your closing remarks, how do we? Should, should it be court, court, court that will always determine who occupies public office? How do we get it right at the voting level? Well, uh, thank you. Uh, professor have said it all, even though he's uh, trying to be sentimental. <laughs> well, I understand. Because you can never see a soldier who is still serving come out and speak against the military. So what he's trying to do here, so you ask, please. <laughs> he knows that there are some things when he say he'll be queried. <laughs> <laughs> so he's defending. <laughs> the, so I, I understand. He's trying to place my okay. understand. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, Professor has just said it. Okay. The costs of governance. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. The attraction is too much. Yes. You see, you know I live in the streets. Yes. Let me tell you, if the judiciary does not do the right thing, look at what people are already planning. No, we don't want to know what they are planning. Uh, okay. Just tell us, yeah. how do we improve... The, elections. You uh, see, no matter what we say here, mm. the public opinion also matters. We can't be here transmitting and you go out, they will not tell you all this we have been saying here, it was WWE, they have been showing since. Okay. You will have to say, ah, <laughs> WWE, <laughs> but we are coming on this thing now. Yeah, but, you understand but me? I want you to talk if about the government, if the government election. does not mm. come in and give Nigeria a balanced election, whereby someone will say, okay, yes, I, I lost out. I lose. Mm. You understand? Problem will always be there. People might wake up and say, well, since court is not helping, since this is not helping, this election, everybody, mount yourself. Anything, anybody, say, let the call I want to win it by do 
or die. Before you know, you'll be surprised that this party, A party, B party, C, all of everybody will carry go or waiting on the police. So we don't want because that. They, yes, we don't want that. Because they know that if you go to court, they will not get the justice. So let everything be done right here. So we beg. But there are some persons. The governor. There are some persons who have been reinstated to political office by courts. Some have been sacked by court. So it's a misfortune you, you will not for compare, different persons. You will not compare the presidential seat. Even me. Okay, that one is higher. If, if I'm the one sitting down there, whether it was by fraud, by anything, I don't think anybody can remove me. Ah! So let's leave that side. <laughs> the, 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 the truth is that you don't know how much power yeah. these people command. See, I've been in a situation whereby I was, I was compared to go against my will. I don't know if you are getting what I'm saying mm. now. You see, if the president can be any five million naira a month, I'm telling you, some people will be truthful. Because you, you can't tell me if I'm, if I'm any five million, you can't tell me to say, if you want me to stand and defend you, give me four million. I'll say, ah, oh boy, how much did they pay me now? How much is my own money that will not give you four million? Ah, it's better I, I drop. Because they have seen it that. If I say this one now, you say I should not say. Okay, so don't. Do you not know just go to? So don't how will you give? Don't go to that told, area. I was told that they gave somebody no, 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 ten billion. No, 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 that is not allowed. So when you give no, such amount of money that to somebody, that is not allowed. I know it's not allowed. That but what allowed. do you not expect? Mm. You that gave us such money, how do you intend to recover that money from the government? Is it not from the poor people you see recover it from? Okay. Thank you, Apostle Casey. You have made your point, but I must make I didn't that very make my clear. Point. You didn't make my point. <laughs> you made some of your points. I will make that very clear. You know, it's not a comment that, 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 that we allow here. <laughs> yeah, yes, we don't yeah. allow accusations that you cannot. Uh, exactly justify. what is happening in the tribunal. So, 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 yeah, so, yeah, so this just what is happening. So please, that statement is withdrawn. Yeah, it's withdrawn. Yeah, it's withdrawn. Your closing remarks, Amos. Thank you. Thank you very much. You see, just like petition. What, Prof? No, 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 no. It's also part of what I'm, I'm yes. standing on. Okay, yeah. When you make it less attractive mm. and you make, the, make them stand on their toes that they are accountable to the people, you get me? It will be less attractive. Just like, remember there's some years ago when I was here, I made it to say, if we can apply the Asian pattern, mm. the Asian pattern of law, that when you steal public fund, is that everybody will be will stand still say ah I don't want to go. Even in Africa there was a, a if, maybe you must have seen it whereby a minister a former finance minister was asked give account on so so and so what you've done so so and day in less than twenty four hours all you be executed. He was crying in public. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. He was crying. He couldn't <laughs> make that statement. So if we make it like that say ah, we are standing if you are a corrupt public office holder. This is our what and what you are going to face. You see, everybody will find it, ah, man, I, don't, I, I want to keep my head on my neck. So by the time we make it less juicy and make it a, a, level, a playing level, level playground and also that the salary is commensurate with that of the civil servant, make it, ah, you are only there to add your own quarter to the society. Thank you very much, I, I, I must commend my staff, uh, my guests rather, I must commend my guest today, especially Apostle Casey Chuku, yeah, because uh, he's really, really <laughs> not satisfied with the ruling. But yeah. I didn't allow him to, to, was kicked to say the petition. Is that his petition has been kicked out of this program? And I concur. I also want to thank Professor Joe Bonjo, who was able to explain the legal lexicon involved in the ruling of the our presidential election petitions tribunal. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, my guests have been very wonderful. My name is Ego Sagmalao. Do have a wonderful weekend ahead. Bye-bye.